God Hits. Hey everyone, and thank you so much for joining me today on my YouTube channel. I'm your girl, Robin Nicole, the inspiration specialist, and I'm wired to inspire you to live your authentic purpose. So guys, I just want to share something with you really quickly. I actually have quite a few of these that I'm going to do, and I'll be shelling them out over the next couple of weeks, and these are about five minutes or less. I couldn't do them in the short, and they weren't that long, so I'm just going to be sending them out to you as I get them. This first one that I want to tell you guys, and this is for... We're in March 2022. So this is going into like the third, second or third week into March right now. And I want you guys to understand something. He is pulling on a lot of us to do some unconventional things. Okay. Now, if you want to talk about things being unconventional, I'm going to tell you what that looks like. Okay. When you have to do something unconventional, it is not based on or conforming to what is gen generally done or believed. Okay. So. There will be a lot of you who have callings on your life and you will have to do something that is contrary to what other people may think you should be doing. So this is why this is a word of warning. This is a word of caution. It is also a word of wisdom. Okay. I want you to be able, I want you to be able to discern for yourself. I am simply the messenger and I want to be obedient and sharing this. Okay. When God tells you to do something that does not look like something everybody else is doing, you have to mentally prepare to be attacked. Now, that attack can be quiet. It can be loud. It can be somebody saying, you lying. It could be like, where you get that from? It might not even be nothing super heavy, but the attack could simply just be somebody questioning what you're, what you're doing because it doesn't compute to them. Many of you in the next few weeks will be encountering things that are unlike what everyone else is doing. You will not be the one going along with the crowd. You will not be the one that will bow down to whatever someone else is saying. Okay. So be very careful with that. Cause let me tell you, that's a scary place. That's a lonely place. And also be prepared to be ostracized. If you don't know what that means, ostracized is when they basically uh, take you out and you are separated from everyone else, but it's with a negative connotation. You look to be the bad guy. You're the person that's not this. You're not that, you know, and oftentimes people are ostracized because of their, you know, they usually do unconventional things that kind of goes hand in hand with that. So I'm landing somewhere with this y'all. So follow me. The other thing I would like to do a gentle cautionary, you know, note for, I want you guys to pay attention be careful when you speak about who is your love interest, who God showed you is your person or whatever you're going through. This is for people who are in situations where they're either being courted or you being with someone is being presented because what's happening is God is finally showing the two of you why he wants you guys to be together to do kingdom work and to come together as a unit. But the people that are around you and are around him, they're both against it. So you have to understand something. When we are in healthy situations, there are people that are in the body of Christ that will be able to see the blessing. There will be people who say, oh no, like I see it. But you want to stay connected to the people that can see it by the spirit, not by the two of you and your faults. Okay. Be very careful in that space. And if you have questions, I would personally tell you to, of course, pray first, but then pause. Pray then pause and pause and wait until God gives you new direction. Because again, there's a lot of trickery. If you are not taking the time to really pray, you don't want to do this with the wrong person. You don't want to connect with the wrong person because nobody love our love. Nobody like us. It's not like that. It's not one of them ride or die. Oh, he my everything. She my everything. And y'all treat each other like crap. That's not what I'm talking about. I'm talking about people who have such a high level of kingdom work ahead that the attacks are so vicious that... Right now, while y'all together and y'all talking to each other, y'all trying to move in a way God is telling you, you're facing some unique and very odd opposition. Okay. So with that being said, I'm going to wrap up and let you guys know this. Study the word unconventional. And I want you to ask the Lord to lead you to words and, and, and uh, examples of what can resonate in your personhood, not someone else. He knows what to give you so it makes sense to you. Ask God to give you that so you know how to move forward. But I just wanted to let y'all know, be aware, 
Be wise and unconventional things have to be made, but know that you are covered from the top of your head to the soles of your feet. Do it. And I can guarantee you, you will see the end and God will get the glory. You will be blessed. I'm wired to inspire. I hope you are too.